Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my easiest reach perfumes. I'm sorry for my lack of content over here and my lack of consistency in general. I have always said that my main channel would be my priority and sometimes it's hard enough to get content up over there. So bear with me. I'm gonna to try to be more consistent on here, but I say that every time. So it is what it is. But anyways, I have five perfumes here to share with you guys. I thought about doing more, but these were the ones that were really easy for me to grab. And if I had put more in here, I felt like I kind of had to think more about which ones. So I figured since it's an easy reach perfumes video, we'd try to focus on the ones that were just like really easy for me to grab, not think about too much because I know that these are like go-tos for me. So before we get into it, if you are new here, I would love if you would consider subscribing down below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And without further ado, Let's talk about perfume. Wow, I really miss this, you guys, I do. Let's start with my number one. This is definitely such a go-to for me. This has been an easy reach ever since it's made its way into my collection. This is Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. Probably one of the most talked about perfumes on my channel, but I haven't mentioned it in a while because it is a little bit more of that spring summer scent since it is a freshie. But honestly, this could be worn all year round because it's so unique. It's almost unisex and it's definitely not sweet at all so it has this fresh herbally kind of scent to it. it really does smell like blackberry and bay i'm not sure what the exact notes in here are but i know obviously blackberry and bay and i want to say like maybe cedarwood and grapefruit or something some kind of like combination of a citrus and a woody note that really just ties this together um and gives it a little bit more complexity but really it is a simple scent and it does smell like fresh, juicy, crisp, tart blackberries and you get that kind of herbally tone from the bay. But don't let that scare you off because it's done so well and it's not something that you smell it and you're like, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wanna wear that as a fragrance. Like it really does smell very likable and nice. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I feel like most people would get complimented on this. This is the perfume that when I spray it, my husband compliments me on it like pretty much every single time I wear it. And I don't even think he realizes that it's the same perfume. It's just that when I wear it, he's like, oh, that's a nice scent. I like that. And that's really rare for him. He does not compliment my fragrances very often. And he's very sensitive to really strong scents. But this one, he just always thinks I smell nice when I wear it. So I really appreciate that about this one. And it's also one of my favorites. I just love the fact that it makes me feel put together, but it's not over the top. And I always say that it really kind of gives off that very cool girl vibe, very chill, down to earth person that everybody just kind of loves because it's unique, but it's not anything too crazy loud. So that's Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. And I will say, that is definitely one of my top perfumes, but not all of these are like top favorites, most used. This is more like what I can reach for without having to think about. Like I don't know what to wear that day and I just want to smell good so I can grab one of these and I know it's not going to offend anyone. And that's really what the purpose of this video is for. So next we do have another one of my favorites though. This is the Killian Princess perfume. I fell in love with this the moment that I got it and it's definitely more recent to my collection than the Jo Malone one, but it's still one of my go-tos and it smells so heavenly and intoxicating. I literally get goosebumps when I smell this perfume. I'm not kidding you guys. It's literally so beautiful. The only thing I will say about this one is that the longevity and projection could be better. It's not crazy for like the type of warm scent that this is. But if you overspray and you do put it on your clothes, it's still pretty decent. It's just not as good as I wish it was. But the smell itself is so incredible and unique that it's worth it to me. This is predominantly a matcha tea and marshmallow scent. But there is also some ginger and some caramel, I believe, in there as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put the notes on the screen as always. Um, this has this warm, fluffy vibe to it with that marshmallowy sweetness, but it also has that tea and that ginger in the opening that kind of give this aromatic vibe to the fragrance but it literally just smells like a creamy, frothy matcha latte, but a light one, there's not too much tea in here. It's definitely not overpowering. This is one of those perfumes that 
everyone that has come to my house and when they smell my fragrances and they smell this one, they always like it. It's just one of those perfumes that you can't, I feel like you can't dislike it, but yet it has this kind of unique quality that doesn't smell like every fragrance out there. And I just so appreciate that because I do like likable sweet perfumes, the kind that everyone likes, but sometimes I want it to be a little bit different than everything I smell every day. I want it to have a unique twist, but still smell phenomenal. And that's what this is. I just love it. I don't have to think about it. I know if everybody's gonna like it and I'm gonna feel great wearing it. So this next one I have to mention, I know it's so over talked about, but this is, it's true. It's for me a very easy reach, so I can't not talk about it. That's the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. This is one of those perfumes that, again, very easy to reach for. Everybody likes it. I get compliments when I wear this one. It, it doesn't seem to last forever when you smell yourself, but other people will smell it on you when you don't think it's there anymore which is really cool about this one. And it is just that cloud-like, slightly similar to Baccarat Rouge by 40 scent that everyone knows so well. It has that really unique sweetness to it, sort of almost like a fluffy vibe, but in a different way than the Killian, less marshmallowy and more of a cold, sort of slightly cologne but like sweet at the same time scent. It's so hard to explain, but so beautiful. And I feel like everyone has this in their collection. Like everyone loves this perfume. It's such a classic now. It's one of those perfumes that's so great for all ages. Like you can wear this if you're 12 or you can wear it if you're 60. Like it doesn't matter your age because it just smells good on literally everyone. That's what's so great about this perfume. So I really appreciate that. And it's one of those that, again, I don't have to think about it when I reach for it. It just, I know it's gonna smell good. Next, we have another sort of freshy perfume. One of my favorite freshies out there. And this is actually a dossier dupe for a Byredo scent. This is their dupe for Bal de Freak. I never know how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna read the notes on this bottle because they're listed here. That's what I really appreciate about the dossier perfumes. If you don't know, they are like a dupe house and they always are so spot on. I love their fragrances and they're like some of the most affordable dupes out there. The top notes in this are bergamot, lemon, and buchu. Still don't know what that is, but the middle notes are orange blossom, marigold, and violet, and the base notes are vetiver, amber, and cedarwood. Basically, what this perfume smells like is just a very clean, citrusy, woody scent, but it doesn't really have sweetness to it, so it kind of has this like cologne vibe to it. It's not overpoweringly strong, and that's the thing about this one too, is that the longevity isn't crazy, but I just overspray it because I love smelling like this and I feel like everyone would like it. It's not fresh in a sharp way. It's like a little bit more toned down and soft, but it still has that clean, citrusy, fresh vibe to it. Such a good scent, and I know a lot of people describe this as being sort of like that expensive hotel scent like when you walk into the lobby of an expensive hotel and it just smells really good yes it does smell like that but it is a little bit more like toned down and pulled back from what some of those scents are because i know some people when you walk into a hotel and it's like a really really strong overpowering scent sometimes it can be overwhelming this one is not headache inducing at all like it does not make you feel nauseous or anything like I honestly feel like even if you're sensitive to fragrance you would still like this because it's just clean but not too much and there's not really much more you can ask for with a freshy scent like this it's definitely one of my favorite fresh clean type of scents you can wear it all year round it has a unisex vibe to it but still feminine enough and I do prefer this one in the summertime though it's just like a breath of fresh air. Let's talk about another warm, sweet fragrance though because these are some of my favorite types. This one is, again, such a no-brainer. It's the Vanille Perfume from Outremer Paris and you can get this on Anthropology. You can get it on Amazon, lots of different websites, but it's so, so affordable. It's like $20 and it's definitely the most affordable perfume that I have here, but it is just a good old sweet vanilla scent. It has that vanilla extract scent, but with like this sweetness to it that kind of makes it smell a little bit like taffy or maybe even slightly like cotton candy, but not in the way that pink sugar 
does because it doesn't have the licorice note and it also has more of a vanilla extract scent to it so i think it's a little bit more mature even than pink sugar yeah i just think this one is really versatile and could be worn by anyone if you like sweet scents keep in mind it is very sweet and very vanilla so if you don't like those things you won't like this but if you do this is a really good one it's so easy to reach for because i know it's not going to offend anyone again it lasts so so long but it's not too overpowering just a truly delicious vanilla that i think is very slept on and underrated i know that a lot of people do really like this and do talk about it but i feel like it should be talked about by more people and to be honest i feel like one of the main reasons it isn't is because it is so affordable and people look at that and go i don't feel like that's going to be good because it's probably just a cheapie that's not that great and i personally just want to smell good if a perfume smells good I'm probably gonna buy it no matter what the price tag on it is like I don't know I feel like it's so interesting because that's a really big thing in the perfume community and it's not so much in other like categories it still is in like makeup and hair care and things like that but I feel like in that category people are way more open to drugstore products and they're like oh yeah you know if I get a mascara that costs me ten dollars instead of thirty and it works just as good or better then great that's what i'm gonna do but with perfume a lot of people can tend to think that it's just gonna suck if it's cheap and i don't think that's true at all i'm not saying that a lot of more affordable perfumes don't smell generic or basic if you want to call it that but i think there are a lot of really great options out there and you don't have to spend 300 dollars on a bottle of perfume if you don't want to i mean don't get me wrong i love expensive fragrance and i have a few but i don't think it's absolutely necessary to smell good or expensive or luxurious you know but yeah just to finish off my thoughts on this i think it's great and it is an eau de toilette but it lasts so long one of the most long lasting edts in my collection so had to mention that that is the last one i really hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know what other perfume videos you want to see from me on this channel um you can also check out my main channel if you haven't yet i do lifestyle beauty content hair videos over there because i do have like wavy hair and i like to share like my techniques and favorite products and things like that so if you are interested in that it is linked down below but yeah that's going to be it for me today and i will see you in my next video bye